How is Sharon? Um, you know, Sharon, in, in our opinion, is, is doing uh, fantastic. Uh, you know, and that's coming from uh, she's out of the uh, life-threatening stage, which that was that was the first uh, pass that we had to make. Um, right now, uh, she's responding to uh, finger movements on, on demand, uh, some toe wiggling. She can move her head uh, back and forth. Um, so. That, that's where she sits today. Uh, we talked to the neurosurgeon just last night and uh, he, he basically, you know, they had to remove uh, the right uh, frontal lobe and uh, I reiterate or reconfirmed that they did take the whole uh, lobe and then he told me that they had to take some of the left also. And uh, so, of course, we're always asking the doctor, you know, what, and, and he just said that, you know, no one knows, he said that, um, you, we don't know how much of Sharon you're going to get back. Uh, they're hopeful, but they don't know. And he said that if anybody tells you different, they're just trying to make you feel better. Um, and then we're also very, very concerned. She lost the sight of her right eye, and the left eye is, uh, is very swollen. She can't close it. And so yesterday they did a procedure where they basically uh, uh, stitched her eye uh, closed uh, over the swelling so that they could uh, so it wouldn't dry out and uh, we, we haven't got confirmation from the eye doctors that she can see out of that eye yet but they're hopeful they're saying the muscles are in place uh, but there's still a lot of damage and swelling and they don't know uh, so uh, you know we're so the, I guess there's, there's two main things we're worried about right now is how, you know, will, will Sharon come back as Sharon and will she be able to see? So um, w when you talk to the doctors every day, is it, is it easy for you guys to understand, you know, what procedures they're doing? Or, I mean, when you say, oh, she, they took the right lobe out, for some people it's just kind of mind-blowing. How do you kind of understand it? I, I, I certainly don't know the details, and again, with everything going on, uh, you know, our focus is on Sharon, and as soon as I get time, whenever, I'm going to hit the internet to find out what that means, but I can tell you what the doctors had said, that uh, the, the part that they removed uh, has everything to do with uh, her personality, uh, her social skills, uh, and basically as uh, Dr. Uh, Sarkar said uh, it's, it, it really is who Sharon is. It's, it's more the, the intellectual part of your brain and uh, that's, what I that's what I was told. So. And how often do you go get to visit her and your family as well? Uh, we're here all the time. <laughs> I stayed overnight last night and that wasn't the first night. Uh, she was around a little fever so uh, they, they have done, uh, we, we should know the results here soon, uh, that her fever continues to spike. They, they believe that there's maybe some hints of infection, so they're trying to identify where that is, so they put her on uh, a heavy antibiotics yesterday. Do at any point do you when you go in and visit and talk to her? Do you get the feeling that she kind of knows you're there? Yes, uh, I just this morning uh, uh, I you know, I asked her a couple questions and again I, I and she seems to respond to this. So I said I said do you do you, do you want to kiss and she'll you know she'll just slowly shake her head and then I I can't get too close. I certainly don't want to give her uh, uh, germs. Uh, so so I'll go up and try to you know just somehow touch her lips somewhere and uh, yes I, I believe that she feels that. I did ask her some questions. She has a very very good friend and I asked her if she knew who she was and it was just you know silence and but maybe maybe she was tired I, so we're going to go back in. I, 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 I don't know what she knows and what she doesn't know. I also can't identify what if what, whatever happened yesterday if she remembers it today. Uh, so anyway, it's, it's, just, it's just sad uh, that this had to happen uh, because, uh, you know, she loves, she loves kids. She, she loves to teach. She's very passionate. Uh, she loves to read and be, and, uh, but I just feel so bad for her. She did not deserve this. Excuse well, me. Oh no, please take your time.
you have had um, a lot of support uh, locally and even you know back in Ohio I I look up things on the internet I look at I looked at her you know school website page which is having and now there's this hashtag bud strong um, talk a little bit about the support you've had you know probably all over the country now that it's become a bigger story yeah uh, I, 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 I it's it's overwhelming to me uh, I, I, I it has it has went nationwide uh, because I believe that uh, people identify with a you know a good person, a bad thing happened to a good person, and it could happen to them. Uh, you know, such a random, violent act uh, that somebody did not deserve it. But uh, um, I never dreamt uh, the support that we got. Uh, actually, it's all over the country at this point. But uh, you know, one from back home. Uh, and then two, uh, right here locally, um, Pennsylvania has has rallied, uh, and 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 we feel it. Uh, I have hundreds and hundreds of cards from people locally here, that uh, and so, sometimes they'll give me a gift card, and but there's no return address or there's no way to even thank them, and and then that, that's it's so. Warming the in the in the hospital here at Geisinger is second to none. Uh, I've I've never had a, a, a better experience from the surgeons to the housekeeping crew to the nurses to the public relations department. Uh, Mike has been outstanding. Um, I mean, I, I I could go on and on and on. I I had uh, a, a biker group just uh, contact me uh, Saturday. Uh, they're doing a poker run. And uh, it's originating in LTs in Milton, I think. Uh, and she just told me this morning that they're expecting three or four hundred uh, bikers to, to attend, and they're having music, and afterwards at four o'clock, music, and uh, two bands, and food. And so, again, that, that community has rallied, and, and some of that is because my son, uh, he's, he, he, uh, they, they, he's going to Afghanistan and he's leaving this weekend or Monday at the latest. Uh, so they, they gave him a leave and look, thank God they, Luke was up, able to come to see Sharon, uh, his mom, before he left. So, sorry again. Do you know how long he'll be gone? It's, it's a year deployment. Okay. Yeah. Um, and have your other kids been able? Are they all here constantly? Uh, yeah, we, uh, we we tried to get some normalcy. I, I wanted them to have some normalcy, so I, 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 I sent them home to get uh, my daughter. My daughter is going to Cincinnati. We, we transferred her uh, closer to the University of Akron. Uh, that's about 15 minutes from our house. So uh, so that, that has happened. My son uh, said, Dad, I'm going to work full time and not go to school. And I said, no way. I said, so... We got him signed up for classes at home, and they'll be out. Uh, they'll, they're coming back tomorrow for the entire weekend. Okay. But they, they've been, you know, Kaylee was driving. Uh, she's 19 years old. And, mm -hmm. you know, so it was pretty hard for her. What do you want people to know? Um, I, I, it, this is hard for me. Uh, I, I am a father of four. Uh, I, I will say this, that uh, it, it wasn't a joke, it wasn't a prank, uh, this, this was planned, and I won't get into details, but multiple rocks were thrown over, and, uh, that, and to me that puts in a whole different category than some kids that really made a bad decision, uh, and uh, the... Milton State Police, uh, you know, I commend them uh, for their work because they were able to uh, get the, you know, find, find the people uh, that were responsible for this. And really, I'm just going to let everyone do their jobs. Uh, uh, so I've got total, total confidence in the district attorney and the prosecutors to do the right thing. Uh, you know, one thing, you know, I appreciate the support. Uh, you know, we started off this by... Uh, we, we didn't want 
this to happen and no one knew who Sharon was. So, that, so that's how it started. And then it evolved to uh, so many people have come up to, and said to me that I, I went straight home and talked to my kids about, you know, uh, throwing objects off a bridge, which seems, you know, uh, like common sense. However, I, I do believe it's bringing awareness, not not just in Ohio and Pennsylvania, but throughout the United States. I, we're getting notes from San Francisco. I got a package today from Louisiana, just, you know, just saying, you know, we, we appreciate it. We're reminding our kids uh, not to do that. And then also, uh, I know Pennsylvania is, they're looking at uh, putting fences mm -hmm. up over the uh, overpasses. And so if, uh, if the right reminders out there to the kid uh, and the fences start going up and busy, uh, you know, so I believe that this could somehow be, you know, a bigger purpose. And so that this would never happen to, uh, or maybe not never, but it would prevent this from happening to somebody else. All I can do is, uh, or say, you know, all the support that we, our families received, it, it really uh, has strengthened us uh, to be able to deal, to deal with everything. So thank you.